Hi all, let's have another in a five minute nutshell game. So Morozovic against Mark Hebden, British Grandmaster Mark Hebden in the Lloyds Bank Masters 1994, which Morozovic had a fantastic result at the age of 17, nine and a half out of 10. Amazing, sensational performance. So this was in round six, Morozovic played E4 and played D4 here, the center game. It's not very uh, frequently played. Uh, but it got a very interesting position. So queen takes knight c6, queen e3. In fact, I should mention one of my former club mates, Steve Weston, he played this, rest in peace. He was a really, really nice guy uh, and quite creative in the openings. And may, maybe he got some inspiration from Morozovic for this line, center counter, because white gets the castle queen side. After bishop d2, white is gonna castle queen side. And not worry too much about the e-pawn. This is like a gambit here. This is the main move, queen g3. Uh, the reason is why queen g3 is the main move, I would suspect that uh, if you play f3, uh, it's just thought, to, I believe, thought to be just much better. Black's threatening uh, d4 here immediately. That's very, very uncomfortable, as well as d takes. This is a kind of gambit here, queen g3, and there's two moves which are usually thought to be good knight takes or rook takes. Uh, in this game, we get a, a move which maybe isn't so good as just taking the pawn, really. Uh, Mark Hebden, maybe he, he was a bit taken by surprise by this choice of opening and played d6. And although this has been played before in line, but it's thought to be slightly better for white. We have f3 now, knight e5, h4, c6, h5. Yeah, going for the king here, d5. And it looks as though with this structure, actually, that a knight can come to c4 and help the queen checkmate on b2. Knight g e2, that seems to be black's main plan, basically, to checkmate Morozovic on b2. But Morozovic interrupts the plan a bit, threatening mate himself. But, you know, is this a way for the form pawn is in a priority here? But you might think another priority is just opening up the lines. So what's happening? Bishop g5, now queen b6, and actually in this position, knight a4 is possible, because with the bishop on d2, there might have been bishop takes d2 and queen e3 winning an exchange. But here, this works very well for white. Queen a5, bishop takes, queen takes, and now knight c3 hitting the queen and protecting a2 and threatening bishop takes c4. Bishop takes c3, Bishop takes c3. That is a very, very dangerous bishop on the diagonal. Knight e3 threatening mate. b3. Queen takes a2 threatening mate. Rook d2. Check. The king's a bit cozy now with white having that huge trump card bishop supporting that form pawn. Bishop e2. And now this, you know, bishop d4 is on the card to try and trap the knight. The knight's kind of trapped. I think that's why we see d takes e4. Trying to sort of at least untrap the knight. But with the dark squares painfully weak, queen g5 now threatens simply queen f6. And the form pawn in conjunction with this battery is a pretty lethal weapon. Okay, what would you play in this position if I give you five seconds? So it looks as though there should be something right. White play. Okay, Morozovic played. Rook takes d5 gaining access to the f6 square and this is absolutely lethal so very limited defensive resources king f8 bishop c4 and here black's position looks absolutely hopeless and mark hebden resigned let's add a kibitza just in case we can see any resources rookie six check and we just take take the queen can the queen go anywhere d7 we just play bishop a3 check is the most concise c5 bishop takes c5 check and queen g7 is mating yeah this this doesn't look as though there's anything uh queen f5 again the check here is is the most lethal c5 bishop takes c5 dragging the queen away from f7 yeah it's it's all pretty pretty lost after bishop c4 I hope you enjoyed this sparkling game from the 17-year-old sensation Alexander Morozovich in 1994. Comments, questions, likes, appreciated. Thanks very much.